Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. I'm back with my second crafty garage sale haul video of the season. Um, I'm just going to jump right in. I apologize. I said this in a, another um, eBay video. If my voice goes or I'm coughing and hacking, I'm sorry. Um, I've been sick the past like week or so. Um, first thing I want to show you guys is this really pretty satin box that I found. I'm going to alter this, put a gift card in it, and um, give it to my mom for Mother's Day. This was uh, 25 cents. I got some notebooks and journals. I got this really pretty one with the butterfly, and I like it because all the pages are blank. So I can also use it as a sketchbook. That was a dollar uh, fifty cents. This one was fifty cents. It's nice. Um, has decent pages in it. I might have to double them up for an art journal. But the front and the back cover are made of cork, so that'll be fun to um, alter. And then I found this one at an estate sale for fifty cents. And this one's definitely art journal material because the pages are are nice and thick. I got a cigar box for a dollar from a rummage sale. And then this stick was just floating around in there. Uh, some game pieces. This is just a set of travel scrabble tiles that I decided to keep because I've been selling a lot of them and I wanted to keep a set for myself. And then these tiles are from a game called Uno Wild. It's an Uno board game, which I never even knew existed until I found these. Um, I found the one that I bought. But these are really nice hard plastic tiles. And it's nice because they're not too, too thick. And, I mean, you can use the front for anything you, you might want to use them for. Or you can stamp or you know, glue pattern paper, put rub-ons on the back. And I think these were a dollar. I found some bingo cards for 50 cents. There's about a dozen in here and the bingo marker stool with them. Found some um, vintage lace. Really pretty trim for 25 cents. I found this fan and I was going to give it to my daughter and then she didn't want it so instead of throwing it out I decided to keep it because I can, this one's already kind of falling apart, but I can break these up and you know use these individually as embellishments or I can use these as um, stencils. That I think was five or ten cents. And I found two decks of these little playing cards called snap cards. And I'll show you the animal cards, but kind of cute. They were ten cents a piece, so figure if I don't use them, I'll just let my daughter play with them. I found some old notebooks, diaries. This one was only five cents. It's a little beat up. But I love this notebook paper, this real thin notebook paper that's inside. There's only maybe, I don't know, eight to ten sheets in here. But I figure I could use the paper and then maybe I could figure out some use for this. But for five cents, I had to buy that. And then I found this trip diary for ten cents. It looks more vintage than it is. It's actually dated 1984. But I like the... Um, the pages inside where it says trip diary comments and then over here it says date place visited points of interest so they're just fun to you know tear out and use on projects I got a couple templates stencils whatever you want to call them um, these were each 25 cents a piece this one has ovals and bigger circles and then this one is simply circles well, that'll come in handy for art journaling. 
Then I picked up, um, this is a Coach keychain, but obviously I don't think it's real Coach. She just gave it to me for free. But I like the, um, the metal flowers. So they'd be really pretty on something. And then I got these two um, butterfly paper clips. They were, I think, a quarter a piece. Got some foam tape for 25 cents. Uh, let's see. These, I had um, a Scrabble game called Scrabble RSVP, and the board is supposed to stand up in these things. Well, I sold all the tiles for the game, so I kept these things to use them as little stands um, for some of my projects. And I got, <clears throat> I got some flowers. This whole bag at a rummage sale was 25 cents. Uh, some little rosebuds. Um, these little beaded sprays. And then the rest of these are the little satin roses in like every color of the rainbow and every size. And of course there's a big one over here, which I probably won't use. But that was a great deal for 25 cents. And an even better deal were these two packs of paper roses for only 10 cents a piece. So I got, what, 24 of them for 20 cents. Then, oh, this wasn't at yard sales. This was at, um... Marshalls. I went to get a birthday present with my daughter for a party she had to go to and I found this cute set of Stella Rose stamps and it was only $1.99 so I had to buy those and then my first um, container of Zing embossing powder which was also $1.99 I really wanted to try this and then finally I got this gorgeous pack of playing cards. These are all um, like French advertising posters. Really, really pretty. So I'm not going to go through all of these. Um, there is a video on YouTube that somebody did where they actually went through this whole entire deck. So I'm going to put the link down below if you guys want to see what all these look like. But these were, I think, 50 cents, and I just absolutely fell in love with them. So, that is it for me this week. Um, hopefully I'll be back in another couple weeks with some more things to show you. So, thanks for, um, thanks for watching everyone, and have a great day.